Welcome to AccuWebHosting video tutorial. Today we will guide you on how to add and delete MSSQL database and user in solid CP control panel. Let's see how to add MSSQL database and user from the solid CP control panel. First of all, you will have to log into your solid CP control panel. Enter username as server admin and password which we have sent in the login details email. Click on the login button to log into your solid CP control panel. Congratulations! You are logged in your solid CP control panel. Click on the all customers link. Here you will see the list of all created users. If you have not created any user yet, you'll see the default admin user there. Click the username link under whom you want to add an MSSQL database. Here we have used username admin as a demo. Once you click on the username, you can see icons of all the services which you can manage from the solid CP. Click on the SQL Server Database under the Databases section, to add an MSSQL database. Here you can see a list of previously created MSSQL database. To add a new MSSQL database, click on the Create Database button. In the Database Name field, enter Database Name. Here, we have used Accu15-DB as an example. Click on the Save button. Once you click on the Save button, database will be created. You can see it here. If you want to create database user, go to the SQL Server Login section. Here, you can see all the database users which you have added from the Solid CP Control Panel. Click on the Create User button to create a new database user. In the Username field, enter a username which you want to use. Here, we have used Accu15 underscore user as an example. In the Password field, enter a password which you want to set. In the Confirm Password field, enter the same password which you have entered in the Password field. You can also use Generate Password button to generate a custom password. Please save the password in your local system before using it for the database user. In the Default Database field, select the database for which you want to use it. If you want to use database user for multiple database, check the database for which you want to use it. Click on the Save button to create a database user. Once you click on the Save button, database user will be created. You can see it here. Let's see how to delete MSSQL database and user from the Solid CP control panel. Click on the database which you want to delete. Here, we have used Accu15-DB as an example. Click on the Delete button to delete the database from the Solid CP control panel. Click on the OK button for the confirmation on delete operation. Once you click on the OK button, the database will be deleted. If you want to delete database user, go to the SQL Server Login section. Here, you can see all the database users which you have added from the Solid CP control panel. Click on the database user which you want to delete. Here, we have used Accu15-user as an example. Click on the Delete button to delete the database user from the Solid CP control panel. Click on the OK button for the confirmation on delete operation. Once you click on the OK button, the database user will be deleted. Thank you for watching.